hello guys welcome to my channel in this session I'm going to show you how to install and configure Windows Server update services in server 2016 this is the diagram how client PC are getting the update from Microsoft update server this will be our setup so uh, this is my domain controller this is my domain controller and uh, this is my WSS server and these are my uh, the client machine systems uh, I'm going to close this one yes and here you have to do uh, download one SQL component and uh, report viewer install in your WSS server system yes finish and uh, report viewer also yes finish now open server manager and click on a role in features next role based or feature based installation next this is my server name next and select Windows Server update services these are the dependencies for WSA server add features it will enable web server next and dotnet 3.5 and 4.6 after that Windows Internet Database and Windows Process Activation Services. Next, next, these are the uh, roles for web server. That's fine. Leave it default. Click Next. The node will create WSH. Next, here is uh, you have to select WID, it means Windows Internet Database Connectivity or SQL Server connectivity. If you select SQL Server connectivity, you have to specify your uh, database server here. Uh, it needs one location path where to keep downloaded packages, package file, downloaded package file. Here I'm going to create in C drive new folder update. And here, here you have to specify your database server connection the strings. But this is my lab laptop, so I will continue with WID connectivity, Windows internal database connectivity. Next, this is the path C update. Okay, next, and click on install. It will take quite time. okay installation success date and we have to configure post configuration here uh, we need to configure post configuration close launch po post configuration you can close this one go to windows administrative tool and windows server update services yes Uh, this is our content directory path run post installation successfully completed and click close to launch the WSS administration consoles ok click close it will open configuration console ok click next yes and I don't want to join synchronize from Microsoft update okay and port number is 8538 okay next I don't have any proxy server so just leave default 
and click on start connecting okay uh, update information from Microsoft update server is finished click next and select your language I am going to select English it is default yeah click next choose product for this lab environment I am going to choose just some not all select all product and deselect all after that select your required product updates windows server 2016 windows server 2012 and after that this one windows server 2012 r2 i have this one and windows server 2008 r2 these are servers three this is not and windows 10 that's all yeah next critical updates definition updates okay uh, security service pack will be fine upgrades updates that's all uh, that's all okay click on next uh, synchronize automatically and my time will be 12 0 0 uh, 10 a.m. yeah 10 a.m. for day one okay fine next okay begin initial synchronization fine next and finish this is of the service and from here you can see the summary uh, synchronizing is started and it will take a lot of time uh, here computers all computer your all computer will populate here just select any and reface to populate here it will take long time and your all computer or clients will populate here or here on assigned computer still there is no none create computer group clients and servers I have some servers and some Windows 10 machines so after my uh, machine shown here I will assign to the groups and this is synchronization is started synchronizing 15% and this is summary connection is local or SSL and uh, the port is 8530 and user role is administrator in meantime we need to configure some group policy from domain controller here go to group policy group policy management and here create a group policy in this domain and link it here I will create WSUS ok and right click edit uh, policies after that administrative templates and Windows component and select Windows update here first configure automatic updates enable and here you can choose you want to just notify or download and install automatic or download and notification for update installation I will go to number 3 auto download and notify for install and every day 
I will choose 12 apply ok and specify Microsoft update service location enable HTTP my local WSO server is wsus.av.local and my port is uh, you can see here default port 5830 at 530 yeah. at 530 at 530 this this same server is my static server and I don't have alternate download server so same apply okay after that we need to configure do not connect to any windows update internet location enable it means all the clients were not trying to get update from the internet they will get update from my local WC server and after that allow automatic updates immediate installation I need this one I want to uh, update immediate apply ok yeah for now that's good you can choose you can configure according to your requirement so for me for this testing purpose that's fine close this one this is the process and it is linked to this domain controller that's fine open command prompt and GP update space slash force computer policy update has completed successfully okay fine let's see here WSS. it is synchronizing I will back when it is complete synchronization failed one time due to network issue and I restarted again it is now 32 percent in progress it will take a lot of time maybe whole day uh, it is depend on your update packages uh, for now it is 32% and in meantime we have to do one or two commands to report the client machine to the WC server this is my one client machine uh, first open command prompt and uh, gp update specialized force yeah, it is updated successfully and one command W A U C L T space slash D E T detect now and same command report now. This is W source command for client machine to report to the uh, W C server and here Windows update. Windows update and change setting it says some settings are managed by your system administration it means the group policy which we created is applied this client machine here check for updates the check online for updates from Windows update is are disabled due to the group policy which is checking and here in WC server it is now 36% it is going on it is fine and computers uh, computer needs updates one it means the my machine was SP10 so here yeah there is refresh select any and refresh the SP10 is reported to the WSS server send membership this is Windows Server 2008 so I will move to servers group ok here yeah this is synchronization is completed success and new updates are 
966 and before uh, it download 1415 and after that 966 and here you can view the summary and there should be some more computers yeah this is server 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 so select and I'm going to change the group servers okay uh, yeah there is servers and all updates unapproved from here you can see unapproved uh, select this one R2 for 12 okay just approve and select your uh, computer group approve for install or uninstall yeah. close and here you can find out uh, which updates are approved and refresh yeah these are the approved updates thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you